Hey everyone, this is Charles, host of the Detroit Metro Plug podcast, where connections matter. I bring you interviews of Detroit difference makers in the area of entrepreneurship and community involvement. I'm excited about today's video where I sit down with founder of Juneteenth in Detroit, Demond Petty. I caught up with him at the recent Detroit 313 pop-up celebration in Detroit. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. All right, all right. This is the Detroit Metro Club podcast. We're here at the Detroit 313. Um, my next guest, uh, he's coming uh, live at the event and uh, he's sharing a little about the Juneteenth. You might yes, introduce yes. yourself and tell yes. you. Yes, I am Demond Petty. City calls me Kong G. I am the founder of Juneteenth Detroit Festival and the creator of Juneteenth in Detroit. You can follow both of those pages on Facebook. This is our 12th year celebrating Juneteenth as a community, coming together, uh, grassroots, uh, everything for a long time was out of pocket and through small donations through residents, Detroit residents. But after 12 years, it's been made a holiday, a federal holiday now, and we're prepared for the largest celebration we've ever had. We'll be doing this for seven days and seven nights it's actually longer than that. It starts on June 11th, and it doesn't conclude until June 20th. It'll be in places all over the city, utilizing city parks and privately owned spaces throughout the city. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself and how did you get started with uh, Juneteenth? Well, I was looking to turn my life around. Um, uh, I was looking to do something better with myself, and I got into the community uh, work as a volunteer. I first started doing a Thanksgiving event, which we now uh, call Food for Thanks. And we started that with Meals on Wheels. And, you know, you see, you, you come a part of things and you see things that you could change, but you're not in a position to change them. So it's best for you to just go ahead and go off and do it the way you think it should be done. So we made some tweaks to it, uh, to the way that Meals on Wheels did it. And we started feeding a lot more people. And uh, I just picked up a different, a, a different, I would say, uh, holiday after that. I did, I did, uh, you know, Easter, I did everything, you know, but I was really looking for something my community could hold on to and grow with. And Juneteenth is a festival, a holiday that is not new, but it is new to us, to a lot of people here in the city. So it's our chance to shape this and do with it what we think or wish we would have done with the other holidays. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to go to big box stores to buy your Juneteenth uh, T-shirts and promotional items. If you want a Juneteenth shirt, cup, hat, whatever, there's somebody in your community that can make that for you. We can create our own economy just based on Juneteenth. We don't have to go to anybody other than each other to make this happen. And um, it can be a beautiful thing for everybody involved. So we have a lot of moving parts this year. It's a lot going on. Uh, but we were just doing our best to make sure that it was hard to pass for a household to pass up. We want every household to be like, okay, well, we're at least going to that day, you know, once they see what's going on. Um, we want them to feel like uh, they can't miss Juneteenth, right? So Father's Day is included. We're having a father's dinner and uh, we're doing dedications to deserving fathers and husbands. And that's because we don't want to have families thinking, well, we got to do Juneteenth or Father's Day. If you're going to yeah. remain local, we I want to. Yes, it's always, we're always in combating. Yes, we're always combating. We'll have one thing going on. There's a Father's Day thing going on down there. But what we want it to grow to, what we want it to become is Juneteenth is part of your Father's Day, right? Okay. If you're staying locally and, and a mom asks another mom, what are y'all doing for Father's Day? She said, we don't know, but you know we're going to stop at Juneteenth for the this or that. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe me and him will go out and eat or whatever. But we want Juneteenth to be a part of Father's Day. Um, there's always a free element family day. June 19th is always free. Okay. So you can just pull up with your children, your family, and have fun. Um, we'll be releasing on our website, JuneteenthInDetroit.com. We will be releasing our vendor list soon where uh, Detroit residents, Metro Detroit residents can patronize these vendors and these sponsors and receive RBG dollars for patronizing them. And with those RBG dollars, they're able to bring them to our festival and spend them the same as cash. So we don't want anyone to come to the festival and not be able to enjoy themselves. In the meantime, before that, all you got to do is if you're going to get your hair done, get it done at our vendor. You feel me? If you're going to get your oil changed, get your oil changed for one of our sponsors. And every time you go, 
Let them know Juneteenth Detroit Festival sent you, and they'll give you a couple of those RBG dollars. Once the festival arrives, it doesn't matter what you have in your pocket. If you, you know, supported the circle, the community of, what is it, the Coalition of Caring Companies is what we call it. If you supported the uh, C3, then you've received some RBG dollars, and you might have 30, 40 of them. You can come in and enjoy yourself. They are the same as cash. Every RBG dollar is worth $1. So we're the only place in the world you can spend that money. So you might as well go get it. If you're going to get a pizza, if you're going to get ice cream, check our vendor list on JuneteenthInDetroit.com. Support those vendors and make Juneteenth Detroit Festival something every family can afford. Wow, that's great. Now, I know we had a conversation before this interview. Um, you said it's going to be actual seventh day. Yes. Yes. So yes. it starts on that Monday or the yes, Monday, it, uh, Sunday. It actually starts on the eleventh, and that's oh, some of our yes, that's some of our sister. We have sister events in there somewhere, okay. but we have actually seven days and seven nights that we're hosting. Um, this is not a competition to us, so there are events and places you can spend RBG dollars that are not necessarily where I will be. I won't be there. But these are our event, our sister events that we support because they are going to have the same vibe we have. We do not believe in alcohol or marijuana being used or exposed during the daytime events. Um, we've never had nighttime events. This will be our first year having those. But we definitely make a family-friendly environment. You know what I'm saying? We don't have any uh, rap performers on stage. Uh, and again, we just haven't had the place for it. Now we do have a place for it at night for our evening events. But in the daytime, it's all family-friendly. So... We have uh, everything from golfing, bowling, uh, pool tournaments. Uh, there'll be some dancing. Hair fashion is going to be a great time. And we're still we're still waiting to surprise everybody with what our uh, performer will be. We're waiting to find out who our performer will be, thanks to uh, City Tax Pros and Raham, uh, the organization Raham United. We're going to make sure that we have uh, somebody that can. That people can enjoy, you know what I'm saying? Some a neutral performer, nobody's ain't gonna upset nobody, you know what I'm saying? We trying to make sure everybody just come have a good time. They come feeling good, they leave feeling good. Yeah. So what's the best way people can find out, get connected, what's going on with Juneteenth? What's the specific website? Right, right now because we just started our website, we definitely pushing people to the website. So go check it out. It's JuneteenthInDetroit.com. We are still working on it, but it's up, it's running. Um, we'll have our vendor application on there. We'll have uh, the wristband, the family wristband. We'll have that on there. We're going to be selling wristbands that uh, will get you in everything all week. You know what I'm saying? And then there'll be individual prices. But if you plan on going to more than one thing, it, it, it's best to just get a wristband. You know what I'm saying? So we're we're looking forward to it. So you can reach out at JuneteenthInDetroit.com. Uh, our website is JuneteenthDetroitFest19 at gmail.com. Yes, yes, yes. Juneteenth Detroit Fest 19 at gmail.com. All one word, of course. Uh, and shout out to Royal Oak. We have to make sure we start shouting out Royal Oak. We are uh, on the board of the Juneteenth Royal Oak event. It will be the oh, first Royal Oak uh, Juneteenth they've had in this manner. And uh, you're, you're part of I am. I'm part of that. I am part of we. We Juneteenth Detroit Festival was a part of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we were lucky uh, to be a part of that. Juneteenth uh, is a celebration of us, but I do believe it's a celebration for all people. Right? If there's not a person walking in America that 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 shouldn't appreciate that we free. You feel me? So that's all this celebration is about. So anybody that's willing to come out and have a good time, we welcome them to come out and have a good time celebrating us. And celebrating our freedom you know what i'm saying so come on out and enjoy themselves but yes uh the city of royal love will be having a great juneteenth event june 19th and we're happy to be a part of that too yep. so uh just real quick if those who want to help sponsor the, uh be a sponsor mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. well as be a vendor mm -hmm. they just email you or go to the website What's the yes yes uh you can email me at juneteenth detroit fest 19 uh, at gmail or you can call me text me 313 Two eight five zero five nine seven. Uh, we do need vendors. We do need sponsors. We need a lot of porta potties. So we need sponsors to sponsor two porta potties. You know, um, you you definitely gonna you see. Volunteers. You need volunteers. Yes, yes, all the time. We also can sign off for community service hours uh, for people, whether it was court mandated or whether you're just trying to get it for your high school graduation. Um, we definitely need volunteers. We need volunteer groups. Uh, if you have anything going on where you need to put some of your young people to work. We welcome you with something to be done. This is an all hands on deck community effort. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. That's great. I'm all right. Looking forward to it. Uh, 
Um, I'm excited about it. Yes, um, we are too. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is Charles with Detroit Metro Club Podcast. Um, coming to you live at the Detroit 313 event. Um, just excited about the upcoming uh, Juneteenth. You guys got the website. Uh, you got the phone number. Mm-hmm. They need volunteers. They need sponsors. Hey, and if you're a vendor, you want to uh, plug in now uh, while spots are available to have a vendor spot at some of the events. Oh, can I make one more announcement? Oh, yes. Yeah. We got no, one more. All right. One more. One more. One more. One more announcement. Uh, I was a part recently. Uh, last August, I was a part of the board for the Detroit African Cultural Festival. It took place at Harris Park. We had some unfortunate uh, mishaps take place there, and a lot of people were supposed to receive refunds. Some of them did not receive refunds. We're still looking for those people, but this is my event. This is something that I created, and we've never had any issues. Juneteenth Detroit Festival is ready to open the doors to any of those vendors who did not get to enjoy themselves in the park that day then you are more than welcome to enjoy yourself with us at the Junction Detroit Festival at no cost. Uh, we welcome you to come and enjoy yourself and bring your family. We got to keep this moving. We got to keep community moving. We can't let one mishap break down the entire train. You feel me? So we got to keep it going. Again, call me, text me, 313-285-0597. I am Kong Gorilla. I am Demond Kong Petty, the founder and creator of Juneteenth in Detroit and Juneteenth Detroit Festival. This is our 12th year. If we want to keep this community together, we got to work together. Peace. You mind sharing Facebook, Instagram, social media? Yes, yes. On Facebook, uh, our Instagram just started for the Juneteenth Detroit Festival, but if you punch it in, you'll see it at Juneteenth Detroit Festival at I Am Kong Comedy. Uh, I am a comedian, by the way, for those who do not know, uh, but you can find me on Facebook at Demond Petty, Juneteenth Detroit, or Kong G. E E K O N G G E E. Yeah, I got three pages. I get blocked a lot. You know what I'm saying? This is a crucial time, though. I'm not getting any more trouble for the next 90 days. We got to promote and we got to stay in tune. So follow those pages. Follow Juneteenth Detroit Festival and follow Juneteenth in Detroit. Inbox any of those five inboxes and you're still going to get me or one of the people that we're working together with. You know what I'm saying? So we appreciate y'all. Juneteenth is coming. Spread the word. Hashtag Juneteenth is coming. And it's coming in a major way. We're going to appreciate yourself. We're going to teach y'all how to uh, celebrate Juneteenth in a righteous way. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Right, right. And Shell, I didn't know you did comedy. Share a little bit about what you do. You yes, yes, up? yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm a stand-up comedian. I am also in a TV show called The Plant. It is on Amazon Prime Video, and it is also on Tubi now. So you can check it out for free. Or if you got a subscription to Amazon Prime, you can check it out. It's called The Plant from Jacoti Films. Uh, it's an all-Detroit cast. And we're just bringing light to the shenanigans that take place working nine to five and double time and time and a half. You know what I'm saying? We filmed it on location in one of the plants in Metro in Detroit. So that's a beautiful thing. I do comedy every Tuesday at the Glass House uh, on Grand River. And uh, we have a whole host of comedians that be with us there. Shout out to Caution, Eddie West, Dominique, keeping the juicy. We appreciate y'all. Uh, but yeah, I am calling comedy. That's 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 becoming a whole thing. You know what I'm saying? These these both of these things are becoming a wave, you know, the wave is coming. So we're encouraging people to jump on that. Jump on Juneteenth Detroit Festival. Find somewhere uh, your product can fit in. Find somewhere your talent can fit in. Seven days and seven nights, we got somewhere to put everybody. You know what I'm saying? And Juneteenth is a celebration of today, the honoring of our history, and lifting up tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So it's really focused on our babies. And when I say focused on them, we have a lot of fun for them in the daytime. At nighttime, we turn up as adults, but we still focused on the kids because we all want to go home to them every single night. We want our kids to be able to see us have fun and enjoy ourselves and then just go home. You know what I'm saying? Let's find something sacred. Let's keep it peaceful. Let's keep the love going. Juneteenth belongs to us. You feel me? So let's treat it like it's ours and, and treat it like we want to keep it safe uh, for the next generation. Yep. All right, we're ready right on the Detroit Metro podcast. Um, we're excited about the events for Juneteenth. Um, we'll have uh, the website and the uh, social media handles in the comment section in the description. So I look forward to you guys being participate. Thanks again. Thank you.